Attention everyone, Nile Hero Cruises is now boarding. All aboard for an adventure through the mysteries of historic Egypt on the Nile River. We're off to take a cruise. Because here goes the history. Knowledge we can use. So sit back, keep your arms and legs inside the boat as we cast off on the adventure of a lifetime. So sit back and relax and wait for what's in store. The only Nile cruise where you can purchase genuine, somewhat authentic, Nile commemorative artifacts, all for a very reasonable price. I am your host, Mr. Cruz, and this is my daughter, Liza. Now, where have you folks come from today? We're from Cedar Heights Baptist Church. We're on a mission trip. A mission trip? Well, isn't that nice? You look like you have a lot of mission. Uh, we're on a trip with a mission, Dad. Actually, we're taking a day to Saisi, and we're hoping to hear about the most wild and courageous heroes ever to live by the glorious and majestic Nile River. Well, if you come to the right place, you will be entertained, dazzled, and mystified by the stories we will tell you on the Nile. You will have three options for the entertainment portion of your cruise. Liza? That's right. You may choose between... Crazy animal heroes of the Nile, Nile lifestyles of the rich, and famous, or ancient heroes of the Nile. We'll choose Ancient Heroes of the Nile, please. Excellent choice. You have chosen the entertainment option that is in my favorite genre, show tunes. Let's begin the entertainment portion of our cruise. Sit back, get comfortable, and enjoy the story of Joseph. Oh, I think I know this one. Joseph was a shepherd boy. His father loved him so. He gave his son a special coat, but his sisters, they knew he'd have to go. Sisters? Yes, sisters. May I continue? Yes, sorry. God gave Joseph dreams that one day would come true. Joseph wanted to follow God and asked him what to do. One, one night, night Joseph, Joseph had a dream. We all have bundles of grain, my sisters and me. When all of a sudden my nose up and yours all bow to me. Sorry. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure Joseph in the Bible had brothers. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was sisters. Absolutely. I don't think so. It's right here in Genesis, chapter 37, verse 5. Joseph had a dream. When he told it to his brothers, they hated him. All right, 
You're the customer. Our sisters are now brothers. Fix it, people. All right. Let's try this again. One, One night, night, Joseph, Joseph had, had a dream. We all have bundles of grain, my brothers and me. When all of a sudden, my nose up and yours all bad to me. God gave Joseph dreams that one day would come true. Joseph wanted to follow God and asked him what to do. The brothers, they were not amused, and then there was this coat. Their father clearly loved him best, that really got their goat. Wait till you hear what happened next. One day Joseph went to see his brothers and their flocks. With no idea their relationship was really on the rocks. They saw him from a distance and their minds started to spin. Hey, here comes that dreamer, let's get rid of him. Remember, your brothers now. Oops, sorry, let's get rid of him. <laughs> Much better. They tricked their father, Jacob, and they told him Joseph was gone. They sold him to the Ishmaelites, which brings us to the end of this song. Kick line, the heroes were the brothers. Yes, they really saved the day, you know? Everybody, the heroes were those brothers who made that Joseph You didn't like the story? Tough boat. Now, look, young man, I, uh, I guess I couldn't interest you in some uh, hero sisters of Joseph keychains and posters. He's right. What about the rest of the story? The brothers aren't here. Do you mind if we take it from here? Joseph, brothers. This is what happened. Uh, I guess everyone's a performer. <laughs> Joseph was in jail, but God had not forgotten him, had not forgotten him. This time, it was Pharaoh who had the dream he didn't understand, and God helped Joseph understand the meaning of the dream. Since God has made all this known to you, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt.
brothers. Do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me here. It was not you who sent me here, but God. Very nice. I guess that works too. Liza, would you like to introduce the next act? With pleasure. Our next hero was raised in Egypt, in the house of the Pharaoh. So he obviously was raised to be a hero from birth. We present the story of Moses. Wonderful story, Liza, Moses, Bush. What a great team the Moses and the Bush turned out to be, huh? Liza, um, that's not what happened. Sure it is, right? Right? Dad? Well, honey, I did change it a bit, but uh, it's much more exciting this way. Moses and the Bush go on a world tour singing show tunes. Again with the show tunes? Oh, that never happened. Well, I guess you would like to tell us your version. Let me just put this away. Is that a post 
picture of Moses in a bush wearing top hats? N never mind that. You all are turning out to be a very poor audience. Well, we're having a great time. Do you have another hero story? I don't want to tell you. Come on, please. Do you promise to let we, me tell the whole story without promise, interrupting? We promise we won't say a word. Places, everyone. Up, 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 up. I now present to you the story of Pharaoh and the plagues. This is a song dedicated to my slaves, the Israelites. And no matter how much they get on my nerves, I just can't seem to let them go. The Nile turned red, soon all the fish were dead. And the river's mud was changed to dirt and blood. So bad. Lord, Lord, Pharaoh, a really bad, bad day. The oils on their skin and the itching sat in. And then a plague of hell soon all the drops we fell. Lord, Lord, Poor, poor Pharaoh, a really bad, bad day. You cannot believe all the trials I've been through. Too many to mention, just remembering makes me blue. But I need to forgive. I need to stay strong But my pages is thin They've been with me for so long Get up, Pharaoh! Woo! you didn't like the Pharaoh hero story. Well, it was very entertaining, but the Bible says that Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and no matter what God did, Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. That's what I said. Pharaoh wasn't the hero, he was the bad guy. He and his army chased the Israelites and tried to kill them. Now that is it. You all have been a very difficult audience. We, you made us sing the songs twice. We changed the stories. We had rehearsals. I am docking this boat and leaving. Wait, Dad, don't leave. You're the only one that can drive the boat. Well, maybe you will appreciate me more when I am gone. This show is canceled. No! 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 Can we at least have a refund? Please? Please? We must stay in control. The show must go on. The show must go on. Oh, who am I kidding? We've been trying to stay in business for so long, but without our hero stories, I'm afraid we won't have any customers. It's over. Well, we can tell you some stories, and they're true. 
Are they hero stories? Well, actually, God's the hero in every story, but he uses ordinary people like you and me. Remember Moses? Well, he was chosen to demonstrate God's mighty power to the Pharaoh and to God's people by leading them out of Egypt. And, when, and God used Joseph to save his people from a great famine. But we already told those stories. That's right. But did you know that hundreds of years before that, God made a promise to someone else named Abraham? God said, Genesis 22, 17 through 18. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed. covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful and kings will come for you. Genesis 17 verse 4 and 6. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you to be your God and the God of your descendants. I'll be their God. Genesis 17 7 through 8. told them God wanted to rescue them from Pharaoh, they didn't believe him because they thought God had forgotten them. But once God delivered them from Egypt by walking them through the Red Sea, they had a huge party. And we mean huge party. Miriam, Moses' sister, led the people in a song of praise to God, which must have been heard for miles. And we mean miles. Exodus 15, 1 and 2. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my, my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. Who is like the Lord? 
Mr. Cruz. Hello, loyal passengers, audience. I have, suppose I owe you an apology. I've been a shameful captain, and worse, an unprofessional student of the theater. No worries, we forgive you. You do? Sure, yeah, totally. Dad, these kids have been teaching me some new hero stories, and they're true! Well, Liza, I learned these stories when I was young too, and someday you have to grow up and realize you stop believing in fairy tales. But these aren't just stories, Mr. Cruz. Well, even if they are true, they don't have any relevance for us today. Sure they do. Throughout the whole Bible, there is a threat of God's love and faithfulness for his people, even when they ran away from him. But what does that have to do with us? Even... what? We may not be Israelites, but we are God's people. What do you mean? When God uh, sent e Jesus down to earth so many years ago, he gave us a chance to really become his children. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe we can talk about it. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting out fear. And even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life, I won't turn back, I know you are near. And I will fear no evil, for my God is with me. And if my God is with me, whom then shall I? Liza, crew, we will have to update our hero stories. We'll get Ron on it. God's love for his people is way better than any made up stories. And God will never give up, give up on his children. Attention everyone, sit back, keep your arms and legs inside the boat. We are about to cast off and finish our mighty ancient Heroes of the Nile tour. Liza, these new stories, can they be performed as... No!
soloist. Go out and take the bows. Go, soloist. Here we go. Blues band, blues band. Go take the bows. All right. Sisters, the bush. The bush, sisters and brothers. I mean brothers, sisters. Slaves, slaves, go take your bow. Lay, yay. Joseph, Moses. Go take it about. Very nice. Passenger, Grace, Ruth.